What is going on people? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome to our very first Pokemon Sword and Shield The Isle of Armor team builder as you guys can see and I bet a lot of people have already been doing this We're going to build a team around Gigantamax Urshifu in this in this scenario here Urshifu is one of my favorite Pokemon ever since using it in the Isle of Armor and going through the trials it's just very awesome i gotta close this door right here i apologize it's kind of, it's might be a little bit loud and maybe even lower the volume to my microphone a little bit give me a moment okay yeah that's a lot better all right so we're gonna go ahead and just start from the bottom right and end with the top left just like we usually do make sure you guys leave a like comment down below on your thoughts about the team and subscribe to my channel because we're gonna have three wi-fi battles with this team and you guys are not gonna want to miss any of that action I rearranged my stuff and I just don't know where to put my 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 remote or anything like that anymore but anyways we're gonna start with the Galarian Slowbro so Slowbro is of course a brand new Pokemon not necessarily new but Galarian Slowbro is a new Pokemon available within the Isle of Armor it has this new move called shell side arm and basically what this does it's a special attack but it deals damage on whichever it, whichever is higher so let's say my opponent is going to take more damage on the on the physical side or another opponent is going to take more damage on the special side it's just going to deal the most damage so either physical or special so with this low bro we're running leftovers we're going to do calm mind and slack off which is really what's going to hold slow bro together we got shell side arm and psychic so we're, our goal with this low bro is to calm mind calm mind calm mind psychic or shell side arm and maybe even get a sweep going now there's nothing too special about my EV spread with Slowbro. It's just 252 HP, 252 special attack, and just throw in the rest into the special defense, which is why we're running Calm Mind here. Now, the second Pokemon in our team is a very classic Pokemon. It's Magnezone. We're running a Choice Scarf Magnezone, 252, H uh, 252 speed and 252 special attack. We're doing Bolt Switch for Pivot. Flash Cannon as a stab, try attack for coverage, um, meaning that we can either freeze, we can paralyze, or we can even burn some opponents here. And we've got Thunderbolt, which is probably going to be our biggest stab attack that we're going to be using the most. Now, the third Pokemon, it's very, it's very special in terms of... I'm pulling up the EV spread right now, but it's very special in terms of EV spread. Now we are running Adamant Nature Marowak here. So Adamant Nature, I need to pull this thing up. Okay. Adamant Nature Marowak, max attack. We got 44 speed and throw the rest into the HP. So it's kind of bulky, but at the same time it hits hard. Of course, it's holding the thick club. So we got Rock Tomb. Try to get that going and try to get an opponent to slow down in order for Marowak to catch up. Let's say I'm gonna predict the switch. Hit Rock Tomb and then just you know knock something out with either Shadow Bone, Flare Blitz, or Boomerang, whatever the case may be. Now the next Pokemon is a Pokemon that a lot of people hate, and that's Darmanitan, Galarian Darmanitan. Gorilla Tactics. I, I really have no words for that. We're gonna be using Gorilla Tactics and Choice Band. So Darmanitan is gonna hit like a truck. We don't have the fastest team in the world, but I guarantee you this team does a lot of damage and our glue as you can see is Dredagon and the Magnus and not the Magnus on the slow bro but back to Darmanitan of course you turn for pivot flare blitz which is a, basically mandatory on our Darmanitan icicle crash that's his primary stab and superpower because it's also uh mandatory when it comes to a Galarian Darmanitan the fifth Pokemon in our team build is going to be known other than Dredagon I'm running a really unique Dredagon set in my in my opinion. So Dredagon has 252 HP, 252 defense, and throw the rest into attack. Now Dredagon here is running Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin. So he's kind of like a Ferrothorn kind of Pokemon is what we're going to be using him as. A little bit different, of course, because both different Pokemon, both different typings, both different stats, whatever you may call it. Here we got a Stealth Rock, so he's obviously our Stealth Rock setter. We got revenge because if we take something obviously my opponent is going to take some damage from the rough skin and the rocky helmet and revenge really doubles in attack power whenever dredagon is hit by an attack first and then he attacks secondly the third of course is rest try to make dredagon live a little bit longer 
and also dragon tail is gonna pro is more than likely gonna be the attack we're gonna be clicking on the most when using droidagon the final pokemon is urshifu so urshifu is of course a brand new pokemon introduced in the isle of armor this Pokemon's absolutely busted. I I, I want to use him before he gets banned on Smogon. I know Darmanitan's already banned, but I, I really think it, it's counterable. It's not the worst thing in the world to go up against. So we got our Shifu, Surging Strike. So this attack hits three times. And on top of that, each attack, each, each, each hit it lands, it becomes a critical hit. So, you know, my opponent is gonna suffer a lot, especially if some fire type comes in, they're, they're gonna get knocked out no matter what. Bulk up is gonna be our primary setup move. Of course, max guard is also really useful to have on a max Pokemon. We got close combat as a good stab attack also and Zen head, but for coverage, 252 attack, 252 speed and throw the rest into defense, life orb it is. But there you have it. This is our first Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Isle of Armor team that we're having here. And our first battle is two days from now on Friday. So you make sure you guys check it out. I will see you guys next time. Be sure you guys leave a like, comment down below on how you would improve this team what you want to look what maybe what you want to see on the upcoming battles do you want to see marowak more than or shifu whatever the case may be let me know about your thoughts down below in the comment section and subscribe to my channel for pokemon sword and shield videos i will see you guys on friday peace